Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Ionic Tips Weekly, uh, the weekly show where we take a look at one small tip each week uh, to try and become better Ionic developers. Uh, for this week's tip, we're going to be looking at creating custom interfaces or custom types. And so if you're familiar with TypeScript, then you're uh, probably somewhat familiar at least with the, the concept of types, and it's kind of the, the driving force behind TypeScript. And basically, it allows us to assign uh, types to our data. And so I want to focus more on the you know, creating custom interfaces aspect of this rather than explaining types in general. But you know, let's say if we have some uh, class member here called, um, uh, let's just say, uh, movie. Um, we could just define that like this, and that's fine. Uh, we'll be able to use that variable uh, throughout this class. Uh, but when it's defined like this, uh, any data at all could be assigned to that movie. So let's say if we want um, if we want our movie uh, to maybe have let's say this exact format. We want uh, we want the movie uh, to be an object uh, with three properties. We want a uh, let's say a title for the movie. Uh, we'll have a, a description for the movie. And let's say we have a rating uh, out of five as well. Uh, so we'll say four. Uh, so as it is now, this all works fine. We can assign uh, this data to um, to our movie variable here. Uh, but the problem is that we could assign any type of data to this uh, movie variable. If we wanted to just say, you know, this dot movie uh, equals six, uh, that is just as valid as uh, what we have above as well. And so that's where types come into it. Let's say we don't want to allow any data to be stored on this movie object. We want uh, only uh, this specific format to be able to, uh, to be stored on there. And so we can use the um, uh, the native types like uh, you know string and number and object. Uh, so just uh, so just as an example, let's say I mean, I'm going to give this a type of uh, a number, for example. So uh, now if we do uh, well, that's first of all, we can't assign uh, this object to movie anymore because this isn't uh, a number type. But if we were to say, uh, if I just comment that out, and uh, we say this dot movie equals five, uh, that works now. Now, so for the case of our movie, uh, to give it a, a type here, I could just say, I could just use the native uh, object type. And, and that's, you know, that's going to allow this to work. Uh, but the problem with that is that you know, it's also going to allow other data uh, to pass as well. As long as it's some kind of object type, uh, it will be you know, allowed. So if I try this dot movie and I add in an extra uh, field of, I don't know, uh, cast, for example, uh, I'll just say cast and I have an empty string. And of course, that's also going to satisfy this. But we don't want to allow having a, a cast and we also don't want to allow having uh, and we also don't want to allow having less than you know the required field so if we just have a title you know we don't want that to work either and so all of this will be allowed given this type that we're using and so what we can do instead is create our own custom interface uh, so all we need to do is just write interface and then we just give a, a name to our type that we want to create uh, so in this case, let's just call it, you know, my movie. And then we just supply the fields that we want. Uh, so we want there to be a, a title, and that's going to have a type of string. Uh, we want there to be a description, which also has a type of string. And we want there to be a rating, which is going to be uh, a number. So now instead of using uh, the just generic object type here, we could use the my movie type instead. And you can see now that TypeScript is uh, it's you know, allowing this because that matches uh, the format that we've defined here. But we're getting an error uh, for the object that only contains a title. And our Visual Studio Code will automatically you know detect this stuff. But uh, you'll also be able to see it in the uh, terminal if you're not using something that has this uh, TypeScript checking. And you can see here it says error in the home page. Uh, this uh, title string is not assignable to type my movie. And if we were to change you know, any of these values as well, for example, this uh, title is expecting a string. If we were to change that to a number, for example, and uh, now there's a problem uh, there. It says the type number is not assignable to type string. Um, so if we do not you know, exactly match this uh, uh, format here, it's not going to allow it. 
And you can also do optional fields. So let's say if we wanted to make the cast optional, we can say, uh, we can just do cast with the uh, question mark there. Uh, we'll just make that a string uh, as well. Uh, so you can see here, this is still, uh, it still matches. But if we add in a cast of Josh, uh, we still, you know, that still matches. If we add in something else like uh, uh, length, for example, uh, that won't work. But if we wanted to, again, have that as an optional field, we could just add that here, length. And I don't know, maybe we'll just say it's a string as well. So we'll get rid of that for now. Uh, so you can see that you know allows you to create your own custom types and enforce that data structure on uh, variables. And this doesn't provide any sort of uh, functional uh, benefit. It doesn't you know, change the way your application works, uh, but it does allow you, I guess it provides you with more confidence in your code. You know that your code's correct. It's you know, structured better, uh, that kind of thing. And so before we end this uh, particular video, uh, rather than you know, storing the interfaces in you know, the page directly, we, we might want to reuse this interface in multiple places. Uh, so it's a good idea uh, to uh, create a interfaces folder. And inside of there, I might create, uh, I'll just call this my movie.ts. And I can grab that interface out of there, put it in here, and we'll need to uh, export that interface now. So we want to import it into our home page. So we'll say export interface my movie. We'll save that. And then we just need to import that in here. So if I import uh, my movie from uh, interfaces my movie. And now we can use that uh, in here uh, without having to define the interface in the page itself. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like the video, please do click the like button and subscribe. And if you want to check out my website and Twitter and things like that, uh, you can find links to those in the description. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next week.